It's time for recipe of the day. Today, I am telling you about how to make Mexican corn on the cob on the grill. It's called elote. It is like a street food in Mexico, and it's so wonderful on the grill. Now, you can just do regular, plain old grilled corn on the cob, and I will link to a recipe for that, but I figure why not spread all kinds of delicious flavors on it and then make it even better. So how do you make elote? The key is that you're actually making this creamy spread that goes on the hot corn on the cob once you've cooked it. And then you sprinkle it with like a crumbled cheese. And it's that creamy spread that you put first that lets the cheese stick. And so that is how you get all this wonderful cheesy creamy flavor all over the corn. So you're going to start by making that creamy mayonnaise-y kind of mixture. Some people use Mexican crema. If you can find that, that's a great option. My store does not have that. So what I do is I mix together mayonnaise with Greek yogurt or sour cream. To that, add some chili powder and garlic powder and also some fresh cilantro if you love cilantro like I do. Next, get your grill ready for direct grilling over medium heat. So that means that if your hands are about five inches from the grill, it's going to take three to four seconds before they get really uncomfortable. And if your grill has a thermometer on it when the lid's closed, you want it about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're putting your shucked cobs of corn right on that grill, right over the the heat and you're just cooking and turning often as the kernels darken and as soon as some have browned you turn and then some have browned you turn and once like I don't know a third to half of them are kind of brown in places take them off the grill now that is when you spread them with that mayonnaise mixture that we made spread them all over getting all the corn turning it all over to coat it evenly then you're going to sprinkle it with some cheese now the traditional is the crumbled cutija cheese but if you can't get your hand on that look and see if your store has queso fresco crumbling cheese that'll work or you can use feta cheese if you want that like extra briny flavor that's gonna have that same kind of crumbling action going on if you don't have any of those the next best thing would be like a mozzarella or like a tex-mex cheese but like really finely shredded like that fancy shredded so that it has a chance to stick to the cobs if you use anything that's like thicker it's too heavy and it's not going to stick to the cobs very well So sprinkle that cheese all over, turning the cobs to get it on all sides, then squeeze some lime over top and dig in. I will put the link to this recipe in the show notes for the podcast episode, or you can head to cookthestory.com slash ROTD and get it there, or you can join our Facebook group for this podcast. I post the links to the recipe in there every single day, so you can always find it there, ask any questions, comment. I cannot wait to see you there. You head to facebook.com slash groups slash recipe OT. I am Christine Pittman from cookthestory.com, thecookful.com, the all new chicken cookbook, and from this podcast recipe of the day. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's get cooking. <laughs>